Here we have a quadratic equation that we want to solve uh, using the method of factorization. The equation reads x squared plus x equals 2. So to solve this using factorization, we want to move everything to the same side and have it all equal to 0. So we need to subtract 2 from both sides to begin with. So that gives us x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. Great. So now what we want to do is just factorize in the normal way. We're going to have two quantities multiplied by each other that when multiplied back out or expanded, it would get, give us this here. So that gives us something like this. The first term is going to be that which multiplied by itself gives us x squared, which is of course just x. x times x gives us x squared. Then we need to look at this numbers term, factorize that, and then plug that in here, one of those factors. So the factors of 2 are only 2 and 1. We have to have 2 and 1 here. So there's no other numbers that work here, but we do have a negative, so we need one of these to be a negative and one of them to be a positive. Now what we need to do is figure out which one is going to be a negative. So is this going to be positive or is this going to be positive? We look at the cross term to determine that. The cross term is positive, so the larger number will have to be positive. So we have x plus 2 and x minus 1. And of course, if you multiply and expand this back out, you'd get this again. So now again, we're solving. So we're not quite done yet. We factorized. We just need to solve for x. So what we have is two terms, two factors. And if we get a 0 for either one of these, then we get a product of 0. So in other words, if we can say x1 plus 2 equals 0 and x2 minus 1 equals 0. So solving for this we get x1 equals negative 2 and here we get x2 equals positive 1. So we have a quadratic equation and two solutions.